The next is what's called the unweighted step. And this is a, sort of a forward walking process. And we do this in the Tai Chi beginning first section where we do the brush knee section. So if we do the forward walking, so if we, we'll, we'll walk this way a little bit. What happens is you take your step, shift the weight. Now, I want to step ahead with the other foot so we take the weight off of that forward foot, turn it out a little bit, shift the weight onto it, roll up the back foot, step forward, then shift the weight forward. Step back, turn on, shift the weight, step forward, shift. Okay, this is what we call unweighted stepping. That there's a, there's, you take the weight off of the foot first, then you turn it out to gain a, a, a better relationship, and then you um, step ahead the other foot. Now, when we looked at this square here, what we, what we did was, even though this, is, this one's a little, short, little too narrow for me because it's roses, we had Rose turn the toe out to a 45 and then step ahead. Now this relationship of this back foot at a 45 degree angle is the most natural and comfortable relationship. If I turn this out at a right angle to the front foot, you can see, it's not very comfortable if I keep my pelvis going straight ahead. I lose my, it's hard to keep your balance. It's not too bad if I'm turning, but if you're coming straight back, it doesn't work. So, and if, it's, if the feet were parallel, you have the same kind of very, same kind of problem. It's very hard to keep your balance. And then you try this out at home. Try your stances with parallel, try it at right angles. You see, not uncomfortable. And then try it at a 45 towards the corner. And you'll find this is the most comfortable. So when we're walking, we always want to set ourselves up so that we end up with that back with the back foot, the foot that's going to be the back foot at a 45 degree angle to the direction we're going to end up. Does that sound complicated? Unless if we walk straight here, let's walk straight here. Okay, right now we're facing straight. So we shift, turn out to 45, shift, step straight ahead. Okay, so now we've got this relationship. Okay, now if we leave this foot here and we step ahead, straight ahead, uh-oh, we've got this parallel stance, no good. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back, take the weight off of the foot, turn it to 45, shift the weight onto it, now we can step ahead and we have the proper relationship. So this is what's called unweighted. You come back, turn out, shift the weight, roll up, then step ahead. It can be straight or a little bit more, and shift. Okay. This is called um, unweighted step, and we do it, for instance, in the let brush knee section. Okay. So it, it has a neutralizing quality about it, a yielding quality. So, for instance, when uh, Rose is uh, pushing me, first I yield back, then I step behind her, and then push her. You see, so, um, so it, it, it contains a sort of yielding element and then stepping and changing, okay? And so in the form, when we were, say if we do this uh, section, we can do this little brush knee, you do left brush knee, come back, turn out, shift, right brush knee, come out, shift, left brush knee. So we keep, keep doing the walking, okay. There's a, another, um, the same walking, the same walking can be done with weighted foot turns. Now there's a big controversy in the Taiji community about which of these is proper, the unweighted or the weighted. In the weighted foot turn, when the opponent uh, comes in, keeping the weight on the forward foot, I turn and step all at the same time. You see, that the foot stay, the weight stays on this foot and the other one releases. Now, you can see that it's very quick, it's very fast. 
but it does require more strength, more balance, and it doesn't have quite the yielding quality because I'm, it's a little more aggressive kind of forward movement. Um, it's, it's more difficult on the knees. So in the beginning, in the form that I teach, we teach the unweighted foot turn until the student builds up strength. And then as they develop strength, we add in the weighted foot stepping later. So um, when they get a little more strength. So if we, were, if we were walking straight ahead using this weighted foot stepping, say we, we get our first step, step ahead, shift. Now, instead of coming back, turn the torso and the knee out to 45. Step ahead, shift. Turn the torso, step, and shift. So you see what's, what, what happens here is that the tendency is a, to just turn out the toe without using the, the body to do it. That's no good or to turn the body and then all of a sudden turn the knee and you lose your balance, or to you know, let the knee move in some odd way. No, you really have to have a good connection between the hip, the knee, and the heel, so that when the torso turns, the toe turns out, you see? So you, you take from, say if you're in the bow stance, you take just a touch of, of, of weight off and turn this way. Okay, so that's what's called the weighted foot turn. And we use it in, the, uh, in, uh, in our form in this same grasping the bird's tail section of ward off, roll back, press forward, and push. For instance, in our form, when I'm in uh, ward off and, and my partner pressures in, I see, turn her out, then step in and push. You see? Yeah. And turn, turn out, step in, push. And uh, so there's a lot of movements, um, transitional movements that we use this weighted foot turn going into, for instance, like so if I'm doing this form here, or a brushing the knee over on this side, turn out, stepping in, punching downward. There's uh, various movements that we use that. It's faster, it's a little more martial, but it's a little more of a hard work and uh, requires uh, strength and connection.